Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Firestorm Podcast. And yes, I know you missed us over our week long break. We're back now. Yes. It's season two? No, it's not. It's just we <laughs> couldn't record because a lot of shit happened in the last week or so. Yeah. So we uh we basically like oh. If we'll it will put a, a highlight episode after every twenty, so that way we can excuse the the reason like we can excuse ourselves for not being able to record yeah. between like for for last week. So it's like it's, it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. There's no need to struggle. No fine. need to panic. No need to fucking go around the world. And, no need. Uh, well, yeah, well, there is, well, then again, you can't really go around the world anymore because the borders are being closed. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> so, yes, we, we are back. Um, yeah, I, I thought, well, neither of us could really record last week. We were incredibly busy and like, work has picked up for me. And uh, also, I was in a fucking car accident. So, yes. Yeah, my... I got everything's, uh, my car. Everything's is, fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I was written off. Um, I was rear-ended, and it fucking hurt. Um, I'm feeling better now. I'm still waiting for my insurance claim. Hopefully, it comes in. We'll see. But um, yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, we were just overall busy or like not available on the laptop. And the hi- making the yeah. highlight episode was literally for me. It was just getting all the social media clips together. And be like, all right, hi- nice. highlights, motherfucker. So, yeah, we'll do that after every 20 episodes just to give us a little bit of a break because you know, burnout is a thing. Some breathing room. Yeah, we need some, we need to breathe. So, yeah, we thought that was good. But um, another thing yeah. has escalated massively in the past week. <laughs> We've been hinting at oh, it. Oh, what could that be? Hmm. Oh. Well, Pandemic? Coronavirus? Yeah. Oh, Jesus it's fine. Christ. Global pandemic. It's fine. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, so, uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, not the Firestorm, which you should follow the Firestorm account, but if you don't follow me personally on Twitter, then uh, I'll explain my feelings about the coronavirus, because I've put them out there multiple times. Um, I think it's, I think the only reason it's taken as many lives as it has is just because it's different and we haven't figured out the cure for it yet. I don't think it's any worse than, like, your seasonal flu. I just think that it's different, and, like, scientists have to take that time to figure out, like, to, to find the cure for it. Like, the se- like flu has killed people, too. Like, but we have a vaccine for it that we take every year. So, the coronavirus, I think it's, I think people are freaking out just because of, like, the media coverage, which has just really made it seem a lot worse than it is. Yeah. Uh, so, it's a huge overreaction in my book, but... I mean, it's definitely not a bad thing to take precautions for it. I'm just saying it's a huge overreaction. Like, it's not that bad. And genuinely, if you're, like, under the age of 60, it probably won't even kill you, if, if even if it wanted to. Yeah, so, it, it's an oddball. Because mm-hmm. they're talking up the numbers of how many deaths there are for the virus. And literally, isn't it, like, around the same as the number of deaths the flu caused? Like it may yes, maybe it, it, it is. Maybe, it's not that much more. It's not that much more. Like, uh, but you're right. Unlike the mm-hmm. flus, maybe they'll cover once or twice a year. This is getting worldwide coverage in such a short, like in a month. It's just escalated so fucking it's dramatically. It's just because it's different. It's just because it's different and not something we've ever seen before. Yeah, and so people are just freaking out. It's well, I think it's a bit much. Like, uh, yes, I do agree. I, I do agree. Like take precautions like yeah wash your fucking hands you fucking mongrels yeah. but if you if you have to wait for the coronavirus to wash your hands i'm a little worried dude about you no wonder hand sanitizer <laughs> sales have just fucking exploded it's just because yeah right see dude i saw some so, people i saw some people in america that have uh, bought hand sanitizer for a regular price at walmart and now are selling it for like a hundred bucks on ebay it's like that is capitalism right there? The, like that is genius, dude. <laughs> all right, so I don't know if it's I don't know if it's happening anywhere else, but at least in Australia, people are going absolutely fucking mental buying toilet paper. It is it is absolutely also in ridiculous. America. Okay, yeah, good. It's not just Australia exclusive because I thought God we're fucking yes. dumb. People are fighting over it. No, and then, we're we're dumber, guaranteed. I, I can I, I believe that, but um, <laughs> literally, some people though are, are like using capitalism. Some people are buying bulk 
of like the giant 12 packs of toilet paper, buying yeah. all the stock, taking it to their home and reselling those packs of toilet paper for like yeah. heaps exorbitant prices. And we're like, oh, yeah, fuck. Exactly. Capitalism. I mean, it's- if people are dumb enough to take those prices, then more power to the guys who are selling it, you know? Like, honestly, I just think it's a dick that's move. That's kind of genius. It is kind of I mean, genius. It is, but- it, it is kind of genius, but like in Australia, we just call that a dick move because. Yeah, because I mean, I it is it's certainly a dick move, but I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't do the same thing. Uh, I did the <laughs> I did I did the same with chocolate in school. Bought like yeah. a massive. Pack I think I of, remember you telling me that story. Oh uh, no, my my friend did uh, coke. Uh, I did it once with chocolate. But, oh, but. Yeah, no, it's absolutely fucking mental. This really has gone off the wall. And, like, literally, they cancelled E3. The yep. pos- like, the WrestleMania might either, either be cancelled, which I doubt, or postponed. <laughs> most, li- most likely yeah. postponed. But, um... I don't even... If, if Vince has anything to say about it, it probably will just go on like normal. Nah, Vince won't <laughs> want to change anything, but I don't... I, I don't know how... Uh, how happy the state everyone. of Florida has a lot of the state of Florida and the city of Tampa have a lot of say into that. Yeah. So. And then like all the wrestlers themselves, it's just like, dude, that's pretty much a, that's a pretty bad idea. Uh, it's, yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, honestly, it, it has gone fucking off the wall for the wrong reasons. Oh, it's, I do want to say it's not that bad, but then again, no one fucking knows about it. Like, I, I, I literally had to Yeah, hop- it's really hard to say. I literally hopped on a bus, like, for the first time in months, and about half the people on it were wearing those masks, those surgical masks, and I'm like, wow, okay, <laughs> this is just, this is instilling fear into people. Like, I, I know, like, yeah. I said in a previous episode, a lot of people, like, a lot of uh, people from uh, Asian countries do just wear it when they have the common cold, just because it's easier yeah. to keep themselves like from prevent from spreading it but now like everyone is going out of their way to wear them and it's just like this is it makes them look kind of stupid but you know it's fine get a fashionable yeah. surgery mask and wear it every day make one get <laughs> exactly ones get that like one of those match clear ones or something the ones that match at with least your right yeah but um God, i don't like this shit it's dumb no <coughs> it's, fuck i'm dying Oh, God. I got the coronavirus. But, um, you have it. I got the coronavirus. No, I don't. But not yet. But my immune system is very is uh still twenty years old, so it will probably be okay. Even All if right, I get good. it. Yeah. Alright, well this well, unless we have anything else to say about the topic, I think we should swiftly transition into well, because the whole th- this episode was always going to be uh, what it is, which is uh, yeah. where we've traveled around the world and where we want to travel. Um, oh, wait. Did I tell you about the um, the Lyme's disease joke? Did I tell you that? No. Okay. One of my coworkers a couple weeks ago said, if I get the coronavirus, I better get Lyme's disease too because everyone knows that you can't have a corona without a Lyme. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. No, that's... I thought that was pretty epic. Dude, I think it's hilarious how, like, worldwide sales of corona has gone down because of the coronavirus. That is a... <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. That... Oh. That just shows how dumb we are as a society. As a society, we like, are all... To think, to think, like, people actually believe that just, like, the thing that has the same name as the virus going around I've... has anything to do with it. I like, thought mm. I, I thought sales uh, of it would have increased because then people could be like memeing the fuck out of it. But it turns out we're yeah, more right? worried about hand sanitizer and toilet paper. Than... But not enough memesters in the world. That's what I take from this. Yeah, we need more memesters. We need more memesters. We need to meme the coronavirus and really, it'll go away. It it, it will really die. Do. It will die after a month because that's how memes work. So if you turn it into a meme. <laughs> It'll exactly. Die. It'll die. It'll, no, it'll go. It'll go away after a month. Yeah, exactly. It'll go away. It's it's foolproof. Foolproof that's strategy. Fuck, that's fucking genius. All right, anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's transition it'll on. Die. <laughs> yes, I need to pull up the document so I can see what I wrote down. Yes. So yeah, 
We are fortunate in our youthful ages to have traveled a fair amount already. Um, and there are a few other places we want to travel, as we've mentioned in the very first episode. Uh, both Gus and I want to go to Japan, and we've even uh, talked about meeting up in Japan, if we do. Um, I thought about going to Japan now that it's really cheap, but apparently everyone's getting quarantined from re-entering their own countries. More things yeah! are closing. More things are closing. The Olympics is up and up in the air at the minute, so yeah, maybe not the best. <laughs> I was half oh, considering not it. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games becoming real. Man, that was my dream. You remember when Mario came in at the, like at the last, the ending of the last Olympics, and was like, "Oh my god." This is just like Mario and Sonic is real at the Olympic Games. Dude, I freaked out. Anyway, I don't actually all. remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, that was how they revealed that the, the next games were in Tokyo. They had Mario come out. It was like, oh. whoa! Yeah, it was very epic. Fucking sick. Nah. But, um... All right, no. Yeah. Right. Okay, found it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we have wanted to travel to Japan... Uh, for many, many reasons. But before we get on to that, now, let's no. talk. Let's talk about the places we have been. So, where yes. have you actually traveled to? Because I, I so most of my list. traveling has been. Oh yeah, so most of my traveling has been in the country. Um, and America is pretty big, so I've been to a lot of different places. Um, so I guess I'll start out with where I've been in America. It's there's a lot of different places. Like America is very big vast diverse country there's a pretty much every environment you can think of uh so i recent most recently i went to utah home of the uh mormons and inbreds uh no stereotypes here um <laughs> what, the mormons there, that are inbreds oh <laughs> yes <laughs> um so i went there and i went to park city which is one of the most um like one of the biggest ski resorts in the country uh, and definitely, like, there's some good ones in Canada, but, like, it's one of the most notorious, like, ski places in North America. So, it isn't, was crazy, it, though, like... Isn't that where crazy. you and your brother went? That I saw on Twitter? You and your brother? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, that's where we were. So, my whole family went uh, at the big. Be- well, it was from the end of December to the beginning of January, so we spent New Year's there. Um, it wasn't... It wasn't, like, all that impressive, because, like, I think I... I don't remember if I actually fell asleep before New Year's, but... Some I think my parents did, um, but that's because we were in a different time zone, so we weren't we weren't used to it yet. But uh, mm. it's it was Park City was really cool. It was also very cold. It was like twenty degrees every day, twenty Fahrenheit, which is below freezing. So, <laughs> and that was during the day, <laughs> and so it was more like mm, n- very 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 more much colder at night. Uh, so I was <laughs> very- wearing a lot of layers. Um, so that was, that was fun though. I like, uh, I've been to a few ski resorts here and there. Um, but that was certainly the most impressive and it's the biggest as well that I've ever been to. It was fucking massive. Nice. Um, I, I definitely almost died a couple times going skiing, like, cause some of those hills are terrifying. Um, but that's what you get when you're in the mountains. <laughs> um, a couple of years back, I went to California. We went down. I've been so I've been uh, to San Fran, Los Angeles. I didn't go where else? What was the other city I went to? I can't remember. But um, both of those are pretty much exactly what you imagine. Although when you're actually in them, they don't look as impressive just because you're not looking at it from the outside. Um, but it's like there's a lot of stuff to do there, but mostly very touristy stuff, which I'm not hugely interested in. You know, lots of shopping and all this other crap. Um, also, lots of gay merch. If you're will, if you're <laughs> willing, willing to wear, uh, you know, pride stuff, San Fran, San Francisco, that's you gotta go there. Like they have pride, pride merch up the wazoo. Uh, it was kind of funny because some of it was like very, like aggressively gay. Uh, it was, it was kind of funny. Um, Los Angeles is pretty cool too, although like we we kind of stayed in the shittier part of Los Angeles, uh, but it was and that's where all that's where all like the YouTubers live is in Los Angeles. Like everybody lives there. In the um, shitty part or the good part? Is that where? They well, live? I don't know where in, but but like in Los Angeles somewhere. 
Uh, so I think I think like, over a mi- I think over a million subs lives in the good part, and under a million subs live, live in the shit part. Yeah, probably. Um, Is that why you were in the shit think, part? <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, we were in like this Airbnb or some shit. It was, mm. uh, but yeah, Los Angeles is pretty cool. It's like it's it's a nightmare to drive there to drive in Los Angeles. Like it is in any big city, but Los Angeles specifically, there are literally stoplights every like fifty feet. It's stupid. And um, the only one thing I can say about California is the fast food joint In and Out, which we don't have on the East Coast, uh, is very delicious. Um, yeah, I've heard many good things about In and Out. So it's very good, but I haven't had it in like two years now. Well, no, a year and a half. Um, but we don't have it on the East Coast, which I'm sad about. But uh, and then I've been re- and other recent times I've been to New York. I went to an FM84 concert there. That was a great time. Uh, but I've been to New York uh, a couple other times. New York's crazy too. Uh, the only really the New York's kind of lame if you stay in anywhere other than like Manhattan. Manhattan's the big part. Like what you know when you look up New York City on Google, that's what you see is Manhattan and Times Square and. Um, Statue of Liberty is pretty large, but you know it's like she it's do be thick some, though. It's, she's very thick, and you know, but you know when you actually see her, you don't like. I think you have to pay a crap ton of money to actually get on the island. Otherwise, you just take a boat and go around it. Uh, so you get to see her from all angles. Definitely. No, uh, that's that's weird. Um, Sounds like uh, a fun experience. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it sure was. Uh, She's very thick, but, you know, and very <laughs> tall, but that's about it. It's, you know, yeah. one color. It doesn't, she's like all the same color. It doesn't quite do it for me. Um, uh, and then, yeah, be like that. Just, um, you wrecked this bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, and, it's all one color. Nah. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. N- not my thing. Like, her clothes and skin are the same color? Nah, no thanks. Oh, uh, okay, um, alright. I guess I, I kind of get that. Yeah. So, like, if, um, I, it's like if yeah. I just wear skin-colored clothing. Yeah, exactly. They're like, that's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> but it's like... And then other than that, pretty much the only other place of note that I've been to is Florida, which is just really hot, and there's a lot of beaches. The only good thing about Florida... Unless, like, unless, except, I guess, if you like it, it being really hot all the time, um, which I don't. I like more mild climate because I can't stand it being that hot all the time. Um, is there are pretty much, you could go to the beach at any point and you'll probably see a hot chick, so that's cool. Um, but that's, that's about it. <laughs> that's all I, all I like about Florida. Um, right. Yeah. That's, but those are pretty much the only places of note that I've been to. I, I want to try, I want to go to some other places. Like, I want to see the Grand Canyon, obviously. I want to, um, I want to go really far north. I want to, uh, and on the East Coast, like, I want to go to Maine where it's really fucking cold and all this other shit. Um, oh, I have been to Colorado as well. Colorado's in the mountains. Uh, Colorado's pretty fun. It's just a bunch of rocks, though. Um, so I guess if you like rocks, Colorado's pretty cool. But, yeah. It's just it's just a a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, a lot See, of places that are just like cool when you go there, but it's like when I talk about it it doesn't sound as cool or I might make it sound cooler than it actually is. Like New York. It's really not that impressive, especially since well, I mean it's visually impressive, but when you go there you can't fucking do anything cuz it's crowded everywhere. Like no matter where you like you could probably go now cuz of coronavirus and it wouldn't be that crowded, but like, if you go at any time in New York to Times Square, you're just fucked. Like, you will never be able to get anywhere. The only... There's Nintendo Land there in Times Square, which I like very much. They hold Smash Bros. <laughs> tournaments there every day. It's fantastic. Fuck. I love it. Yeah, dude. We went there when I went to the concert over the summer. Uh, Like, we stayed the night just because we were like, I'm not going to be able to drive after this concert's done. Like, my voice is going to be gone. Everything's just going to suck. So... We just spent, my friends and I just spent the night, and the next day we went to Times Square and Nintendo Land. My friend, well, my other friend was sick, but my one friend and I, he got, he got sick somehow. But um, the, my other friend and I went to Times Square. We literally just went to, like, M&M Land and then to Nintendo Land. 
That was it. Fucking like we just went it. to get a bunch of fucking candy, and Ooh. then we went to Nintendo Land, and I got a shirt, and I almost got some more things, but. It's only a matter of time before I go back there. Like, I would literally make a trip to New York just to go to Nintendo Land. Deadass. Nice. Now, speak fucking mm. America, though. There's only three things I want to do in America. Grand, Grand Canyon, Las Vegas, yes. and Route 66. I've never because been to Vegas. My dad and brother were thinking for my 21st to all get our motorcycle licenses. Like, my dad's got his. Then go to America, yeah. go to America, and the three of us uh, drive Route sixty six. Yeah, you have um, a death wish, clearly. Yes, but um, yeah, that, that's Fine, well. Neat, none of us, except for my dad, have the have their licenses yet. So I doubt that's happening for my twenty first, but it will happen eventually. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah and speak and Eminem land. Oh my god, don't even, dude. Eminem star. land. It's M- great. Uh, it's heaven. It smells like I'm, chocolate. I've been, and it smells like fake chocolate. <laughs> uh, no, I've been to Eminem Land, London. Nice. And it's yeah, you, you're right. It's it's like it smells like four, fake chocolate. It's four fantastic. Of, four or five floors of fake smelling chocolate. A giant wall of multicolored fucking. Yes, dude. Oh my god, I love those. You can put those in the like they have those fucking machines where you just pull like pull the lever and the M and M's come out, dude. I could live there. Just just leave it on and watch the entire <laughs> place. They sell Feel. you M&Ms in by weight, dude. It's fantastic. It's like they sell you M&Ms a- by it's great. I remember the I one th- I I got like two different container like I forgot what they were, container things, and I bought like an M&M thick shake that was already in a bottle and it it wasn't nice. that good, I will admit. It was pretty ass. I should have gone for the hot <laughs> chocolate. But yeah. Nice. That. Um, nah, shit. No, Dude, they we all sound interesting. should go to Vegas. I've never been, but I want to. I want to go to Vegas just because I'm good at the roulette table. That's, that's mostly really? it. I'm actually I would, really I'm gonna good at the roulette grandfather, table. Dude, my grandfather um, on my dad's side is, like, really good at gambling. Like, he knows all the gambling games. I'm just going to be like, you, you teach me your ways. And then I'm going to go to Vegas and just tear everybody apart. <laughs> Dude, that's let's, my let, goal in life. Let, let's go there and get married for a day, and then divorce for the day after. <laughs> apparently, you can do that in Las yes, Vegas. Yes, dude. It's fucking Apparent, mental. Well, yeah. I don't think that's just Las Vegas, though. I think that's just what what they what they did, dude. Like they just immediately. Well, I don't. I don't even think they're, they've actually been divorced yet. It's like a year oh. on almost. Yeah, Ross and you're talking about Ross and Sam, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they've actually been divorced yet. Yeah, I don't think they have. That's that's hilarious. They've both got girlfriends, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's fine. They're happily married. It's fine. They're happily married. Um, Just let them. Also, I I wanted to do a quick. uh, I wanted to do a quick da 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 da, live coronavirus update. Um, because I've just been looking. I looked through Twitter. Um, the pre den pre. Prudential Center, which is meant to host the AEW Dynamite with the Blood and Guts match, has announced that they're not uh, hosting any shows for a few weeks. So the AEW Dynamite uh, episode has to be has to either be postponed or moved to a different venue. So the Blood and Guts match has already been postponed. Epic. <laughs> yep. And, um, Good God. <laughs> Something else I wanted to mention in the intro, but we never got the... But I forgot. Um, we planned out our future episodes to kind of align so that we would do everything, like, p- topics based... Like, ep- episodes based on topics when they would happen. But we had one just before the WrestleMania episode for ReZero. But because of the yep. coronavirus, the release of ReZero has been pushed back to July. Yeah, season two, it got pushed back to July. Everything sucks. And a bun- I think a bunch of other anime have also been affected. I haven't, I haven't been certain because I haven't really looked. That at, was the main up. one I saw. I don't think I've seen any others so far. But yeah, so that could change. We, we've rearranged our episode listing, and hell, if WrestleMania gets postponed, I mean, fuck. Yeah, right. We're just fucked. We we will be fucked. So. Yeah, I don't know, but um, yeah, there you go. That's the uh, live coronavirus update for you, uh, Finish. 
Uh, it won't be live. It'll be a four days old by the time this comes da, 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 out. Da, da, da. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Yes. Penis. So all right. cool. So where Epic. have I been? H- have you covered all you where you've been so far? Oh, not all of them. I I I haven't been. Uh, that's that wasn't all the things. I'll cover the other ones. I have been out of the country a few times, but mostly to Europe. And then my the first actually my first time out of the country. It's kind of underwhelming, but um. It was on a cruise, uh, cause I think I can't remember. It might have been for my grandparents' seventieth birthday, but they bought like, um, they bought like the whole family, like me, my parents, my all my uncles and aunts, and my cousins, all cruise ship tickets. And this was when I was like fifteen or something. Um, so it was my first time out of the country, and literally it was like in the Caribbean. So we went to like Jamaica and like. I don't think Puerto Rico is part of it. I can't remember, but some maybe some places in Mexico. Uh, but literally, those were stops for like one day, and then the rest of it we were in like international waters. <laughs> so were you getting? Were you getting? I mean, were you getting completely fucked up in international waters because there's no laws? Uh, unfortunately, not because they still enforce the twenty one rule on the ship. But that's uh, fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I fucking hate it, but it was, um, but the, apparently in international waters, like, uh, in Las Vegas, you have to be 21 to gamble, but if, if you're on international waters, you can be 18, which I wasn't, I was 15, but, uh, I went, it was okay, because I didn't want to gamble, because I just went, like, they had an arcade on the boat, and I just did that all the time, constantly, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's setting you up um, for gambling, getting you into yes, an arcade, exactly, dude, Actually, that's how I got it. I, got, I actually won. You know those, like, games where you can win either, like, the minor prize or, like, the major prize, and most of them, like, you never win? I actually won one of those and got a PS Vita from it. I still have it. Yeah, you, yeah, you told me that story. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yep. So I got a PS Vita from that. That was the first cruise I went on. And, uh... Yeah, and we went to, like, a bunch of different fucking places in, like, Mexico. I couldn't tell you the names because I don't remember. But, uh... Just some random spots in Mexico along the beach. Uh, and then Jamaica, I remember, because I got to hear their accents, and that was epic. Because I love Jamaican accents. They're hilarious. I know. Um, it sounds it sounds amazing. Yes. So <laughs> we got to, like, go to see all their... It, we basically went to, like, a Jamaican farmer's market. It was incredible. Um but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get my full appreciation out of it because I was in my emo phase. It was fifteen. I was like, God, I don't want to be here. Um, <laughs> but uh, so it was. Um, I want to go back though, just to like see. Like I want. <laughs> I want to like barter with the uh, <laughs> with the with the with the guys. Just like, what's what's your price? It's like, oh man, it is twenty one dollars. I'm like. I'll take it for fifteen. <laughs> just like try to make a deal with them, just something stupid like that. Um, my all of my other times I've been out of the country, I went to Europe. Um, so I've been to Germany because actually my friend who I did that first podcast special with back in October, or November before Sword and Shield came out, the one about Sword and Pokemon Sword and Shield, he actually moved to Germany because his dad was a part of the military and got posted over there. So, oh. yeah, so they moved to Germany when I was 16. So the next summer, we went to visit them in Germany, and it was great. Like, they had this nice little house, um, and we got we didn't get to see Berlin or anything, but we went to, like, a bunch of other places. Like, we went to... Um, Oh, what's that place? We went to like Austria and like did a bunch of hikes and stuff. Um, I can't remember the name of the town. Wiesbaden, I think. Uh, it's pretty close to Berlin, like an hour or ish. But uh, yeah, it's just Germany. I like, and it was fun be- uh, because his dad actually. Um, <laughs> there's no speed limits on the highways in Germany, so he was literally just going like 110 casually and the rest of us were like freaking the fuck out we were just like dude i think you should slow down it's like oh this is normal i was like are you fucking you fucking serious um so i was a little freaked out but uh it was fine and other than that the only other time i've been to europe was actually on a field trip in 11th grade so i was 17 yeah i was 17 um yeah actually i think those those trips were both in the same year um But yeah, I went to the school field trip, took us to the Alps first in Switzerland, which was really cool. Um, 
so we did a bunch of walking and hiking. Uh, obviously, I can't really speak Italian. I, I can tell you uh, thank you is grazie, and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> Good job. Um, that's all yes, you need. Um, yes. So other than that, it was like the, the, the I, I don't remember much about it. I just remember we had this like hotel on like a hill. It was just this massive road, and it just kept going up and up, and we'd have to walk down and up it all the time to get dinner and stuff. Um, or we well, we only stayed there for one night, but then we went to um, oh, what's the capital? What's the do you know the capital of Switzerland? Uh, oh, fuck me. Uh, I know the city. It's one of the major cities. Toblerone. To- that Toblerone. Was- <laughs> One of the big cities in Switzerland we went to, and I can't for the life of me remember it. Was it Switzerland? It might have been. I think it was Switzerland. It was right above it. Yeah, it was. Um, for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was. Um, but it was one of the uh, one of the bigger cities. Lucerne. Lucerne. That was the one. Um, we went to Lucerne, Switzerland, I think. I think that was the one. It was kind of um, one of those big cities around there. And we went shopping and shit, and I think they most I think they do speak Italian there, though I can't remember. Um, but it was really cool. And then we went to Italy, and we got to see Florence and Venice and Rome. And then from Rome, we we flew back home. But nice. uh, yeah, we got to see all those places. We only got to stay there each for like one day because we were on a bus and we were just like our flight took off from Rome in like a certain amount of days. Like, well, you can't exactly miss that. So. Um, I did, I did get some souvenirs and stuff. Like, I got some... I have a thing for fridge magnets. So I got a bunch of fridge magnets to put up on my fridge. Like, oh, Venice, Florence, Rome. And that was it. That's... See, I, I got a couple other things, but see, I like I, fridge magnets just because they're easy. Uh, uh, my, my parents are into fridge magnets as well, and I would be, but I don't have a fridge. So I nice. uh, collect uh, souvenir coins instead. That's my thing. Oh, nice. So I have coins from literally everywhere I've been, which is mint. So, yeah. That is epic. It's literally, it is literally mint because they minted that the is, coins. It literally so, is. Yeah. No, Very it's, epic. But that's about it. Other than that, I want, I really want to go to Japan. Uh, obviously, we, we spoke about that. I don't want to go while everyone's quarantined, but, uh, you know, we'll go eventually. And uh, other than that, I want to go to... I want to go to England. That's one of the be- uh, big places I want to go other than Japan. Mm. Um, and because I want to see like London and I want to see a couple of the other places. Like I just want to just want to go around England for a bit. Um, Europe seems pretty cool. I, I don't really care much about like the places in other continents. Like I don't like there's no places of interest for me in like um, South America or Africa. Really even in Asia other than Japan. It's just like... Uh, I mean, I guess I'd be kind of interested to go to India, but that's about it. Um, and then other than that, I want to go to Alaska because I think, I think like areas where it's just like barren are are really cool. Like there's no sign of civilization anywhere. And one of the things I want to see, um, that like, that's been big on my list for a while is I want to see the Northern Lights. So I want to do that in, and I think we're, I think my family's going to Niagara Falls this summer. So uh, that will check Canada off my list, but um, other than nice. that, like, yeah, I want to. S- the Northern Lights are are really cool, and the- I've actually learned the science behind them as well. It's really interesting. So I'm not much of a science person, but that like just how it works is kind of fascinating. So I'm just like, oh, I want to see that shit. So awesome. Maybe I'll go to Alaska. Maybe I won't, but I will. Meet us there. Oh, yeah. Mate- Meet us in Japan. Come Fire, get... Firestorm, Firestorm Fire... Northern Lights tour. Yeah, no, Fire, Firestorm <laughs> Japan coronavirus tour. Um, Epic. Yeah, so... Come get coronavirus with us. It will be fun. It will be good. We'll make a lot of penis jokes. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was my favorite. And, um, anyway, so, yeah, I've traveled a fair amount as well, um, fortunately. My parents are very big on... Uh, making memories uh, with for the family. Like every year, we go on a family holiday somewhere around Australia or just somewhere local. But um, mm-hmm. like within Australia, I've been to essentially everywhere. I've been to Melbourne. I've been to Sydney. I've been to 
the Gold Coast. I've been to Queensland. I've been to Kangaroo Island. Um, I haven't been to Northern Territory and Western Australia. Um, I was thinking of going there with my Aboriginal friend, which is from there. And uh, he wanted to give up essentially give us a tour of his uh, homeland, which we're quite interested in. Um, haven't done that yet, but that's on the, as that is a plan. Um, so yeah, Australia, it is fucking beautiful when it's not on fire. So huh. I definitely recommend coming here in that time. The only thing which I think is a downfall is our exchange rates. Our fucking currency Oof. is so ass compared to the world. Like $50 here is 83 U.S. dollars. No, no, 50, yeah, 50 Australian... No, 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 50 U.S. dollars is 83 Australian dollars. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah, it's fucking Oof. bad. But, um... Yeah, so with, like... Yeah, I've been to most touristy places within Australia, and I've enjoyed all of them. Um... And, nice. and I've been to Canberra as well, but Canberra, like, there's a war memorial, there's the old Parliament House, and then there's a giant road, and that's about it. <gasps> It has it's the it has the mint, which like the the actual Australian mint, where you can uh, stamp coins. But it's it's pretty impressive looking. But yep, you, you could ba- huh. you could basically cover all of Canberra in a day. And nice. I've spent over a very, week there. I've, I've at least in total spent over a week there because I've been there twice. So Oof. yeah, it, you can get bored fairly quickly in Canberra. But, um, Not as epic. Uh, you might be able to punch our prime minister in the head if he comes out in public, but that's about the, the mm. most benefit you might be able to get from that. But um, huh. uh, but overseas, so fortunately, uh, my high school, um, they were very big on wanting to make uh, like trips and all that. Like every year, one of the t- like the teacher, uh, Mister K, he organised. Um, foreign trips for people learning uh, different languages just to try and get a little bit more culturally inspired. And um, it was really funny because like, he, whenever he, whenever the... It was either Europe or, like, one year or Japan the other. And I huh. decided... got shafted. I, I decided I, I mm. was... Like, at that time in 2015, I thought, well, the Europe trip, there's a lot more to it. There's so much more, and then rather than just Japan, and then I've started getting obsessed with Japan later. So, um, mm. yeah. But the really funny thing was, though, it was meant to be a trip for the uh, students learning other languages, and when you went over there, you were meant to do work in the other languages. But the uh, Europe trip in 2015 uh, had so little original attendance; they opened it up to every other student. You just had to. It was fairly expensive and I saved up a fair amount of money but um, if you did it and you weren't learning another language you literally could just go for the holiday so huh. that was good so Very me epic. so me yeah. and a few of my mates uh, Callum my best mate since uh, kindergarten uh, Cameron and Jacob we all went and uh, for the few other year 12s which we made mates with and, um, yeah, so it started off in Paris. That was really impressive. Uh, of course, you can't yeah. deny Paris is a beautiful place. Um, then we took, an, like, an overnight bus type thing. <laughs> Bless me. Overnight train type thing to Venice. And um, that was surprising because we, we nearly got left behind on the train because we didn't get up in time. <laughs> that was a train. So yeah, no, because, okay... It was a four-person uh, stall, but they had to squeeze six of us in there, and it was rather huh. unco- it was rather uncomfortable. So literally, the year twelve, the, the year twelve, just bought a bunch of drinks from the bar, and we just got fu- fucking smashed and uh, got actually got to chat because we didn't know the year twelves. So we just talked and fucking got to know each other and got smashed. All and that that's all we did all night on the train trip. That was actually really fucking good. Because, like, at that time, <laughs> at that time, I had barely, like, I wasn't a big drinker because it was literally, like, 16, so I couldn't yeah. drink. But then, like, we all just fucking got smashed and just caught up. And then we fell asleep at, like, 3 a.m. And then we got to Venice at about 7 or 8. 
And I, I was the first one to wake up and it was to our teacher banging on the window saying, guys, the train's about to fucking leave. Get out of there. And I'm like, <laughs> guys, wake the fuck oh, up. Fuck. So I had to smack everyone with pillows, grab all our shit. And then we ran out the train and we got, yeah. to, and we got to Venice and Venice. I fucking love Venice. It is I, this is really cool. I love Venice. The ancient architecture mixed with the fucking the water just everywhere. I I love it. I just I don't know. I really really like Venice. And um I remember getting lost in Venice with my mates and we just went to a random cafe which for some reason also had trading cards for sale. It was really huh. weird. It's like they were trying to appeal to both adults with a cafe and then it just had booster packs on a fucking counter. And we're like, oh, nice. we'll, we'll grab some we'll grab some foreign booster packs for a game we barely play anymore. Sure, just, just we were just bored. And um, yeah, no, Venice, love that. Um, from Venice, oh, yeah. we went to Rome. Um, nice. And yeah, Rome was good. And in Rome, we... Like visited a lot of museums and we visited a lot of places, see the art and witness the history and it was phenomenal. And uh, we also detoured to uh, Florence for a day and um, nice. saw the Leading Tower and all that shit. And um, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, no. It considering it was meant to just be a trip for students learning a foreign language, it was probably like. It was probably the best overseas trip I could ever ask for because it was the only one where I actually got to go somewhere with a whole bunch of mates because yeah. we were all in high school. And it was just, I remember in Rome, we went to this nightclub, which literally the whole appeal of the nightclub is they like, because you, you can drink at 16 in Europe, but you have to be 18 to purchase the alcohol. Mm-hmm. So the year 12s bought the alcohol, we got smashed. But um, there was this nightclub, Very which good. literally its demographic of the nightclub was between 16 and 20. Literally, the, oh. own, the owner would kick out anyone older than 20. It was Holy really, shit. really um, creepy vibes. Uh, and I have a shirt yeah. from them. <laughs> Nice. I've, I have a shirt. Nice. I have a shirt, which is on um, the back of it. It's just like the best night you will never remember. And um, <laughs> it doesn't fit because back then I was a medium. Now I'm not. Uh-oh. So it doesn't fit, but I still got it. Gotcha. But um, yeah, no, that was good. And all I remember from that is like just having a good time, grooving in a club and having my first ever Jager bomb and just getting pissed. And then I had to basically get my drunk mate Cameron back home and he was like in the middle of an existential crisis throughout his life then because he was a bit of a, a nut but he's doing good now and I remember I, nice. I had to basically run and catch I got like a seven second video I, I know I always say this in Firestorm podcast episodes uh, that I'll cut in something and I always forget but I want to do this. It's literally a 10 second Snapchat video of Cameron wandering down the road drunk and he doesn't know where we are. And then he s- says he wants to stop somewhere. And I keep saying no. And then he runs off and I, it ends with him running and me yelling Cameron and then running after him. And then it cuts off there. Literally what happened is I chased him for about like, 30 seconds around this, like a market that was now closed. And then, God, uh, caught up with him and got him back to the hotel. That was a fucking funny night, but yeah. So very, the Europe trip in 2015 is probably my most favorite trip. If I had to say any, but luckily I've had, uh, two, technically one other, but, um, uh, in 2017, I want to say, was it 17? Yeah, it was 2017. It was literally like year 12 and it was in the height of when our final, uh, exams are going on, but, um, mm. I went overseas. So <laughs> I don't know why nice. it, it was just awkwardly planned because, um, my mother and sister were taking part here in dragon boat racing and, um, they... 
I don't know why, it was just kind of a health thing, but apparently they entered a few competitions and they did really well. And they said, all right, well, we've actually qualified for a dragon boat racing event called the Venice Vogelonga, and we're all going to Venice. However, huh. they, they lacked a few team members. So my brother and I, well, my half, my brother-in-law and I uh, joined the team and it gave us a reason to go to Venice. So that was sick. Nice. Um, my brother-in-law is actually from England as well. So we decided so to you, ma- So you literally did the race that is that is at the beginning of the uh, Latios and Latias movie. You literally did I that. I did that. <laughs> I did that. Unfortunately, Latias wasn't supporting me, that bitch. No. She was a bitch. <laughs> she was just off somewhere else. But yeah, I literally, I was on the water. I did that. That was... It Very was epic. amazing, but um, yeah, my half, my brother-in-law from Eng- is from England, and we decided to make a whole trip out of it rather than just Venice. So oh, my yeah. sister, my brother-in-law, and I uh, went to England, and my brother showed me around everywhere. That was mint. Literally, we stayed in this like really old, cheap hotel, but the architecture was so like just fascinating that you look out the window and it's like a curve of like the same building all around this one giant street. And I was just like, it was, I don't know. I thought it was really cool, but, um, nice. Yeah. Yeah. We saw Buckingham palace. We, uh, went to several other places within London and we, uh, went to a few castles, uh, Birmingham where my brother's from. We visited his favorite, uh, football team in Zassen Villa. Saw the, saw Villa park. And we nice. did a lot of other stuff, which I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, we did a lot of proper touristy shit and it was really, really enjoyable. So, yeah, England was really good. And I know there's more of it to visit. And the one thing I particularly enjoyed, I like see, I, I'm weird. I think I might be weird. But for me, whenever I visit a foreign country, I like seeing how typical daily life works for people that live there i just Mm -hmm. i'm fascinated by it like that's why i want to go to japan for a month just to see what people Mm -hmm. do but um yeah um one thing that we did get to do in england was visit some of my brother's family and his family like like one of his family i think it's his goddaughter maybe i don't know um lives on a farm like miles miles out of any fucking proper town so we literally got to go for a giant hour drive through the countryside and it was just really fucking pretty. It was just really nice. nice. Yeah. And then we got to the farm and they were in horses and that was really good. And yeah, I, I don't know. It just, it was a really nice trip and I really enjoyed it. And um, nice. yeah, after that, Went back to Venice, second time, baby. I was the tour guide for my family because I knew most of the places. So, and the Venice Vogelonga itself was really, really good uh, in regards to dragon boat racing. And it was just really fascinating actually being on the water. So, yeah, that was good. Mm. I, I might, I don't know, I can't be bothered putting up an image, but I do want to show that video of Cameron. But, uh, can't be fucked putting <laughs> up an image. But, um, yeah, no, that's essentially all the major places I've traveled to. And,. Yeah, as we've as we've said multiple times, next on my list is Japan. Um, now I wanted to do it next year, but because I was in a car accident and I might have to get a loan for a new car, uh, depending on how busy work is for the, over the next few months, that will kind of dictate how much money I can actually save for a trip to Japan. Yeah. So I'm unsure at the moment. I still want to do Japan next year. See how everything goes. Yeah. Um. And as I've said, like America, certain parts of America interest me mainly, like Grand Tan- Grand Canyon and a few of the other touristy spots. Um, yeah. I see. I like the idea of going to Canada and Germany, but I don't know. There's nothing that's really drawn me to them. Like unlike Japan, mm-hmm. there's so many things that draw me to Japan from the culture, from daily living, from like the convenience of just fucking everything there, from all the anime shit yeah. from like from all the anime shit from all the weird wacky shit from the wrestling 
And just like a lot of things anime. draw me to Japan. So that's why I want to go there more than anywhere yep. else at the minute. <clears throat> but Fair. um, yeah, that's basically yeah. all I've anime. got. An anime. <laughs> No sub, no subs, bitch. Got to learn the language just so you can watch it over there. Yeah, dude. I, I just. What am I gonna do if I can't watch anime in Japan and understand? See, okay, this is the fucked thing. I remember. Um, I, like, I'm a big fan of uh, the YouTuber Gigak, and I used to be a big fan of the Anime Man, but a lot of his content recently has just kind of like not been interesting. So I've so. never been hit, uh, like really super interested in any of his content. Yeah, he's, so, I don't know. His like his his sense of humor is just not for me. Gigguk, on the other hand, is in his hilarious. Yeah, I've zoned out of the anime man a bit, but he um, well, he did a Q and A series or something like that. Um, Ask me, senpai, I think it was, and one of them was one of the questions was literally just like, is there anywhere in Japan you can get English light novels or English manga? And it's just like, are you fucking serious? Why would the Japanese need English translations of their own shit. Yeah. They don't have any. You go to you go to a bookstore in Japan, it's gonna be a Japanese fuckhead. No fucking so, way. So yeah, same. They won't have subs unless it's a DVD. You might have luck there, but anywhere else, no. It's gonna be all yeah, Japanese. Yeah, that, that was not a smart question. No. People are dumb. Yeah. So, yeah. But regardless of that, um, yeah, I, I originally made like a giant list of things I want to do in Japan, but I lost it. So I'm going to remake it when I'm not busy. But um, yeah, that's all I've got. I think we're I just about go good. Spring. We should go spring break next year on my when I, when I have spring break, which is like around now. So like this time next year. Spring break. What are you talking about? Yeah. For me, it's I'm on spring break right now, so we should go to try to like schedule if we're gonna go to Japan next year, we should try to like schedule it for around this time next year. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because isn't isn't it cherry blossom season now too? Um yes, but that's the reason why it's so fucking expensive, I like to get over there in at this time. Yeah, because the coronavirus. No, no, well now it's cheap, but see that that's yeah. why I was always saying uh, like July, September, or something like that. But yeah, see, okay, look, out of everything that draws me to Japan, the che- well, I know the cherry blossoms are beautiful and all that, but that's the least of my concerns. <laughs> I, I like Fair. if I see a cherry blossom tree, I'd be like, sick, bro, take a photo and then go. Rather than yeah. uh, that's why I kind of want to go July, September because I want to climb Mount fucking Fuji, but I need to probably do more hiking for that. So, um... <laughs> oh, I'm ready, dude. Dude, I'm uh, ready. I'm not. I'm overweight, so I need to get on my hiking shoes, and I need to climb some fucking hills, mate. I need to get on that shit. But, I, um... I live in the mountains at school, so I, I literally hike everywhere I go. Up and down hills, just to get to class. It's stupid. <laughs> nice. Oh, did you see my friend, uh... Completely off-topic. Did you see my friend Jenna uh, graduated full sale? I did not. I don't have her on Facebook, and I don't uh, check Facebook. Well, so. she's gradu- she's graduated. She's done. Nice. Which, Dude, uh, I wish I could have gone to Full Sail. Full Sail the looks fucking awesome. And then I get to go to NXT every week. Oh, I'm, uh, if she was a wrestling fan, I'd be like, Dude, how's the NXT? And she's just... She's not, though, which sucks. But... Damn. It still looks pretty sick. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, I think we're about good for this episode. I don't know what else... Yeah. To mention, unless you want to quickly check Twitter, see if there's another live coronavirus update. Coronavirus, coronavirus update, live news. Ba da 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 da. Hello, I'm loading Twitter. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Breaking news: AEW has confirmed that next week's episode of Dynamite, which was reportedly supposed to uh, feature the fo- the debut of former WWE star, will take place in Jacksonville instead of Rochester due to, due to coronavirus. Where the heck is Rochester anyway? I don't know, but so I think Jacksonville is like the default home for AEW when nothing else works. Fair. It's where my grandparents live. Yes. Yeah. 
Ring All of right, Honor. Let's... Ring of Honor announces cancellation of anniversary event due to coronavirus. What? Ring of Honor announces cancellation of their anniversary event no. due to coronavirus. Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor cancels their shit. Um. And then yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. WrestleMania is still on, as far as we know. Finn Balor's in NXT UK. Oh yeah, he attacked Walter. They're gonna have a match in a couple weeks, a few weeks, after like at Takeover Ireland or whatever the fuck. Takeover Dublin. Oh my That's god, the- SmackDown has actually been moved to the Performance Center. Wow. It was originally That's scheduled kind of in De- De- yeah Detroit because Detroit closed off. Oh, you can't have at, shit in Detroit. Yeah, because it was originally there. So it's Sorry, been moved. That's, that's it's, a meme. That's a meme. Been, is you can't have shit in Detroit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry. I'll I'll explain it if in a, in a bit. I might thanks, just explain it. But thank you, ahead. but yeah, say? now it's it's in the performance center now. So holy fuck, so much shit's going on. Yeah. Right. Good God. Yeah, and a skillet oh, show um, was a skillet show. Oh, where was it? Upstate Concert Hall. I don't know where that is, but it's been postponed. Dude, I'm so mad. I couldn't go, like, literally this past, I think it was a week ago today, they had a skillet show in Greensboro, North Carolina. It was, like, two hours from where I live, and I couldn't go see it because I had class the next day. I was so mad. And they they had From Ashes to New with uh, as their opening. And Ledger, too. Good God, I wanted to go to that show. That would have been but great. I, I know, it would have been great. but I, And I wanted to go, but I couldn't, because I was like, I'm not going to make it to class the next day if I do this. And I, I, eventually, I just d- didn't even go to my classes, so I was just like, well, I should have just gone to the fucking show. But I didn't. I'm so upset. But I'm going to make it up by going to Nate Wants to Battle in September and Breaking Benjamin in July, so it's okay. Nice. If they're not postponed. Anyway, if they're, well, they'll be fine, I think. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this fine. shit, hopefully people get a handle on the shit soon. So, um, yes. Yeah. Anyway, now it's my ta- time to do the outro. Wow. Um, wow. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you have any uh, questions or suggestions, please leave them for us in our email at firestormproductions2 at gmail or in the comments of this video. And if you want to interact with us, uh, we are on Twitter at firestormpod. And uh, if you have coronavirus, uh, let us know. Please give and it to us. We will give you an interview because I want to interview someone with coronavirus. It would be. And I want it. <laughs> you want it? I want coronavirus. Why? Why not? Bye. What, dude? I want coronavirus.